Hello everyone. Today we're focusing on Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics, the topic of number, subtopic, fractions, decimals, and percentages. So to begin with, we're going to be looking at adding and subtraction fractions. So the important thing to remember about adding and subtraction fractions is that it has to have a common denominator. So I cannot add 3 over 5 plus 7 over 8 here because 5 and 8 are two different denominators. So we have to start off with making the denominators common. To do that, I multiply the first fraction top and bottom by the same number. So in this case, I'm going to multiply both by 8. So 8 3 is 24, 8 5 is 40. And the same way for 7 over 8, if I want to also make it to a common denominator of 40, then I have to multiply 8 by 5. So same way I will multiply 7 also by 5 to get 35 over 40. And once you have got it into the common denominator form, you must remember when you are adding, the denominator stays the same. It's the numerator that gets added. So 24 plus 35 is 59. And from here, you can then convert the fraction into a mixed number form. So we can see that this fraction can be considered as 40 over 40, which is one whole, plus additionally, you have 19 over 40. And therefore, you can write this as one whole and 19 over 40. Similarly, if I am subtracting fractions, I also need the same common denominator concept. But here you can see that I have one whole and three fifths. So I have to first convert that into an improper fraction. To do that, you multiply the denominator by the whole number. So five times one is five. And then you have to add the numerator balance. So that is how I'm getting this as eight over five. So one whole and three fifth is equivalent to eight over five. Then I can subtract seven over eight. Again, I can't subtract this directly. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by eight. I'm going to multiply this fraction by five. This is going to result in 64 over 40. The other one is going to be 35 over 40. Again, when you subtract, the denominator does not change. Only the numerator subtracts, and that is 64 minus 35, resulting in 29. Moving on, when we look at multiplying and dividing fractions, it's a bit of a different scenario. So when you do that, here, it's simply multiply the top two, multiply the bottom two. So there's two ways to do about it. Let me tell you the first way. So if you want, you can just multiply 7 times 3, which is 21. Then you can multiply 5 times 9, which is 45. And from this point, you can simplify by dividing top and bottom by 3, which will result in 7 over 15. If, however, you prefer to simplify and then multiply, then you can do it as it's here. So they have simplified the 3 on the numerator with the 9 in the denominator and have uh, converted it is as 1 over 3. So this then becomes 7 over 15 directly. So you can choose to simplify first and then multiply or multiply and then simplify. If we are looking at dividing fractions, again, if you have top, uh, if you have any improper mixed numbers, you have to convert it into improper fraction form. And when we are dividing, the rule is basically to keep the first fraction as it is, take the second fraction and flip it so that it becomes the reciprocal. So that is 15 over 4 and then you not you don't divide you basically multiply okay so if you want to divide by a fraction at any point of time all you have to do is flip the second fraction and convert it to a multiplication and from here you can start multiplying so that is 15 again here they're simplifying first so I can simplify the 8 with the 4 so that becomes 2 over 1 I can simplify the 15 with the 5 so that becomes 3 over 1 so then it's 2 times 3 and 1 times 1 so that's 6 over 1 which is just 6. Moving on this is a small illustration if you want to enter fractions in your calculator and how you can enter mixed number fractions in your calculator. 
So if you are converting from fractions to decimals, um, it's basically dividing the number. So it's basically three fifth. If you want to convert into a decimal, it's three divided by five, which is 0 0.6. If you want to convert seven over eight into a decimal, it's seven divided by eight, which is 0 0.875. Similarly, if you are doing fractions to percentages, it's basically taking that fraction and multiplying it by 100. Okay, so which is what you see here, you multiply 3 fifth by 100 and you get 60%. You multiply 7 eighth by 100 and you get 87.5%. So that's uh, the simple conversion of fraction to um, decimal or percentage. Coming to adding decimals and subtracting decimals. So when you add decimals, you have to basically always look at where is the decimal point. So in this case, when you're adding 0 0.05 to 123.568, you have to align it so the decimal places are in the uh, same, same place. And then it's a matter of adding. So you can see that the addition has resulted in 123.618. Similarly, when you are subtracting as well, it is very important to align the numbers accordingly. So you can see when it is a subtraction like this, we have to carry over because the last number is a zero. I have to cross this five and carry over that five as a 10 to the last digit. So 10 minus six is four. I had a balance four here because out of the five, the four is left. That is where the second four comes in. And then one takeaway zero is one. Similarly, for 760, the zero, I can't subtract the th three there. So I have to carry over from the other one, a one. That gives me 10 minus three, which is seven. And five, which is the balance takeaway two, gives me three and seven is just there. So make sure you carry carefully as well. When you are multiplying decimals, it's also equally uh, important um, to multiply um, and keep in mind about the decimal places. Ideally, uh, when you're multiplying decimals, you should multiply as if there isn't decimal. So if I wanted to multiply this, for example, it's like multiplying 11, 1, 2, 3 by 7. Okay, so you multiply, you get the answer. 7 3s are 21, 7 2s are 14, so that's 16. When you add the 2, carry the 1. 7 1s are 7, add the 1, that's 8. 7 1s are 7, 7 1s are 7. So this is my answer. Once you get the answer, what you have to do is you have to insert the decimal point. But where do you put it? Well, you have to put it equivalent to how many decimal points you had here. So I have three decimal points for the first one, two for the second one. So totally, I have to put it for five decimals here. So therefore, the answer is 0 0.77861. When you're dividing, it's pretty much like dividing a normal number. You have to do it carefully. So I can, here we are 3.565 divided by five. So there, it doesn't go into three. So you can put the zero there, then put the decimal point as it is, and then carry the three to the next number. So five sevens are 35, then five ones are five. So you will have a balance one there, which moves on to the next number. And then five threes are 15. Again, a small illustration of how to enter decimals in your calculator. Moving on, if you want to convert a decimal into fraction form, um, you can use uh, basically, ideally, you have to put it over 10 if it is um, a one decimal point, right? So you put uh, the number over 10. And then, of course, feel free to simplify the fraction. So three over five. Here it is eight, seven, five, three numbers. So then we have to put it over thousand. And again, you can feel free to simplify. If you want to convert the decimal to a percentage, it's just like what you did for fraction to percentage, which is multiplying by hundred. So the same is done here. And finally, we're looking at how do you go from percentage to fraction and percentage to decimal? So Percentages are anyway known to be out of 100. So for example, 60% can be written as a fraction out of 100, which you can then simplify down to get the fraction form. 
um, or if you are looking at decimal form then it's basically dividing by 100 right so you take the number and then you divide it by 100 and put it put the decimal point in the right place so that should convert it and that brings us to the end of today's lesson okay so we're going to finish off with a few questions firstly write 0.35 as a fraction so remember to write a decimal as a fraction you have to put it over the respective um, number so it, because this is a two decimal place i'm going to put it over 100 we can then simplify this by dividing top and bottom by seven um, by five sorry so the top will become seven the bottom is going to become 20. so my answer here is seven over 20. moving on work out without using a calculator um, and then this uh, sum is given all right so first things we have to convert both of these fractions into improper fractions so 4 times 3 is 12 12 plus 1 is 13 so 13 over 4 is the first one the second one 13 times 3 is 39 39 plus 5 is 44 um, over 13 so that's the second one then I can simplify the 13 here with the 13 here the 4 here with the 44 here and that's going to give me an answer of 11. Okay, a land was divided between a brother and sister in the ratio 6 is to 4. What percentage of the whole land does the sister receive? So the sister is the second person. So she's receiving four parts out of the total 10 parts. So that's basically like 40 parts out of 100. So it's going to be 40%. And finally, work out using your calculator. Um, so this is 2 over 3 plus 1 and 2 thirds. So 2 over 3 plus... 5 over 3 right because um, I've converted that and then we can add this together so simply that's 7 over 3 and that brings us to the end of today's session